Hey there, in this video, I'm going to walk you through how you can use the Blast Testnet and potentially qualify for their airdrop without having to actually put any of your own capital up. My cat is mad at me for interrupting her nap. Anyways, the Blast Network launched last year. And so if you bridged any of these tokens, you can qualify for the airdrop and earn a native yield on those assets. But the thing is, this portion of the Blast airdrop is going to really benefit people that have a large amount of capital to bridge and deposit onto the Blast Network. And you also lock that capital capital up for a pretty significant amount of time because currently it's only actually a multi-sig and the network is only in the testnet phase. So this leads us to the other thing that you can do to potentially qualify for a blast airdrop, which is participate in their testnet. They have a galaxy campaign on right now. And if you complete some simple tasks, then you can earn some points and some NFTs for doing so. And a lot of them are just like following them on Twitter and retweeting some stuff but there's a few more substantive things that you have to do. So I thought I would walk you through the best way to actually complete the testnet interactions. So before you can actually use the Blast testnet, you're going to need to get some Sepolia ETH. Now the Blast team has its own faucet, but you can only request a very small amount. So you can claim up to 0.02 if you're willing to tweet about it. And if you don't want to tweet about it, then you can only get 0.01 Sepolia ETH on the Blast network. So I just requested this and this 0.01 ETH is going to come directly to the Blast network. But if you want to get more, there's another way. And that is by using the Sepolia ETH faucet. So I'm going to throw a link to this down below as well. This is great if you want to get some testnet ETH because there's really no limit. So you can paste your crypto or your Ethereum wallet address in there and then hit start mining and you'll actually be able to mine some testnet ETH. So if you just leave this running on your computer for a few minutes, you'll be able to claim some Sepolia ETH you can claim up to a maximum of 2.5 ETH, but then you can come the next day and get even more if you want to. And then the thing that we'll be able to do with this is actually bridge it from the Sepolia testnet to the Blast testnet using the Orbiter bridge. So this is a way to get a lot more testnet ETH onto the Blast layer two. So I'm gonna turn this off and come back once I've mined a decent amount of Sepolia ETH and then we'll keep going. So once you've mined a minimum of 0.05 Sepolia ETH, you can stop mining and claim rewards and it will send it to your Ethereum wallet. So once we have that Sepolia ETH, we can now bridge it to the Blast testnet because Orbiter Finance announced that they've integrated the Blast testnet. So we're gonna click on this link here and this is gonna bring us to the Orbiter Finance testnet bridge. So select the Sepolia network as your sending network, and then two, we're gonna search for Blast, and then just select the amount of Sepolia ETH you want to bridge, hit send, and confirm the transaction in your wallet. Now, it's unlikely that this is gonna help qualify for the Orbiter Finance airdrop itself, but there's no harm in doing it, and then we'll have a lot more testnet ETH to work with on the Blast L2. So now that that bridge transaction has gone through, we can actually go to the Blast testnet page, which is Blast Off, connect our wallet and complete the tasks. So it's not all that complicated. You just need to do two steps. You already have Sepolia ETH. So we just need to scroll down here to this section and we're going to stake some ETH. And then we're going to contribute the FY ETH, which is the staked ETH to the hydrogen Yido vault. So the first step is to stake that ETH. So select how much you want to stake, hit stake, and then confirm that transaction in your wallet. When that goes through successfully, you'll get a little pop-up. And then the final step here is to contribute the FYE. So this is the same thing, just select the amount that you want to contribute, and then you have to confirm two transactions, one to allow the spending of the token, and the second to actually make the deposit. Now, it looks like the deposit caps for this is getting pretty close to full, but since this is a test net and there's no actual monetary value, hopefully they'll increase that soon. But once you've done those two steps, then you can go back to the Galaxy campaign page and collect your NFTs and points for this. So I definitely recommend doing this. Not that many people have actually completed it so far. Less than 8,000 people have done all of these steps to collect these points and NFTs. And if Blast ends up rewarding testnet participants with some sort of airdrop, it might not be as lucrative as if you had bridged a significant amount of capital on the Blast bridge, but you still could get something from it. So there's no harm in doing it and it won't take you very long at all. So hopefully you found this little tutorial helpful and have a great day.